a lottery winner has been arrested for dumping $200,000 worth of manure on his ex-boss's lawn. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it depends on what an asshole your ex-boss is, but I'm going to say... <laughs> I've had some ex-bosses. Well, I think of one in particular that I just, I would totally do that to this guy. I mean, and he would deserve it. <laughs> I mean, not only would I drop it all over his lawn, I would just like drop it on his car while he's parked at the office. So like the, you, he couldn't even see his car. It would just be one stinking pile of manure. I'd probably get arrested for this activity. And the guy that did this probably, you know, technically there's a law against, you know, depositing a, a, a quarter of a million dollars worth of manure on someone's property <laughs> without permission. Uh, so yeah, I'd probably go to jail for that. And uh, I don't know what the fine is for this, but obviously he's rich enough to pay it and to probably hire a great attorney to get him out of this. I'm going to say it was worth it for this man. Ask him like years later, was it worth it? He's going to say, yes, God damn it, it was worth it because that guy was such a prick. <laughs> $200,000 worth of manure. A man from Illinois was arrested for getting... $224,000 worth of manure, I wonder how much that is, dumped on his former employer's property only two weeks after he won $125 million at the lottery and quit his job. $125 million, I'm going to say he can, he can afford any fine that he's going to get out of this little tomfoolery. 54-year-old Brian Morris from the small town of Clarendon Hills bought over 20,000 tons of manure. Manure. Manure? Manure. He has a manure. 24, 20,000 tons of manure. Just in case you were wondering, how much does a quarter million dollars get you of manure? <laughs> 20,000 tons. You could have so much fun with 20,000 tons of manure. What a prank. What a very seriously brilliant prank. Yes, 20,000. I was wondering how much that was. Tons. That's so much. How much is that? Is that enough to just bury somebody's house? That's what I would do. Uh, he, asked, he asked for this manure to be dumped on his former boss's property, pretending it was his own residence. <laughs> That's pretty weird to be the manure delivery guy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're sure you want 20,000 tons of manure dropped right on your front lawn, sir? That's a little weird. Yeah, man, do it. I'm going to be, uh, going to be having, a, a, I'm going to be shooting some, uh, <laughs> a series called, um, Lovely Ladies of Manure Wrestling <laughs> on my front lawn. <laughs> so, I mean, how do you talk... How do you, what's like the reason you would need that much manure on your front lawn? I mean, it just seems fishy. So dozens of truck, trucks filled with manure showed up in front of the house. At six in the morning began dumping smelly cargo all over his ex-boss's lawn. Wow. George Fitzgerald, his former boss, was awakened by the sound of the vehicles on his property and called police immediately. Oh, so he wasn't even, he was actually home when this happened. That's just bad scheduling. What, what you got to do is you got to do this during the day when the boss is at the office so that when he comes home he gets this nice smelly surprise. Um, but you know, I, you know, B plus for effort here, Mr. Morris. For <laughs> Unfortunately, it took the police more than 15 minutes to arrive on the site. By then, more than 10,000 tons of manure had already been dumped. <laughs> Oh, man. Brian Morris, the lottery winner, was standing right across the street and laughing when the police arrived. <laughs> this is great. This guy doesn't give no fucks. Oh, and he rapidly came over to confess his responsibility and to explain his motivations to the police. <laughs> this guy didn't even care. He's just like, yeah, 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 guys. Hold on. Wait till, wait till I'm done slapping my knee. Okay, now I'm here to tell you that I did this, and this is my ex-boss, and he's a jerk, and that's why I did this. Wow, this is unbelievable. Um, my question to you, fellow weirdos, uh, if you could do, if you could pull a prank like this, if you had all the money that this guy had, you know, over a hundred million dollars, what kind of crazy prank would you play on your enemy or an ex-boss, like in this case? Uh, get creative. I want to hear some weird shit, okay? Call 646-450-2012, or you can email me, funnyjones at gmail.com, or you can send me a DM. Yo, slide up in my DMs, as the kids say. Uh, it's on Instagram and Twitter, at Funny Jones, and Facebook is Comedian Jonesy. I want to hear from you. Weird.